An awesome way to promote your business is to hold some sort of a recurring event, something that people can come back to week after week and get to know, like, and trust you. But it's not enough to just say, I'm doing an event. You actually have to put in some legwork to promote it, to get those bums in seats, so to speak. How do you do this? Well, this week I'm talking to an expert who over seven years has grown her community to over 10,000 people. And she shows up week after week. She's going to be sharing with you five ways to promote your event and you're bound to get some fresh ideas. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is June Morrow and I help emerging coaches and transformational consultants step out of isolation and into more authentic connections with messaging that inspires them and their ideal audiences. And if this is you and you're struggling with finding clients, I encourage you to download my free training below, How to Find Clients When Social Media Isn't Doing It For You. So I am super excited to have today's guest with us. Her name is Christine Fernandez, and she is the founder of Toronto Professional Women, which is a networking organization. She runs in-person and online networking. And if you're uh, if you're in the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, be sure to check out her in-person events. And the online networking events are welcome to anyone from around the world. And what I love about Christina is she is an example of consistency and the power of consistency. So she started doing these networking events seven years ago. In between, she had two kids, a whole bunch of stuff happened in her life, but she kept going. And so she started from zero seven years ago, and now she's got over 10,000 people who are part of her meetup group. She's got 8,000 women who are on her Facebook group. She's got, you know, um, 2,000 people on Instagram following her. And it's just really a testament to the power of like returning day after day after day after day. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that, but we're going to focus on how to promote your events because it's one thing to put out an event, but it's another thing, you know, you can, you can do an event, but if nobody shows up, it doesn't really do much, right? So Christine, <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm so grateful. I am um, uh, just starting to kind of get out there a little bit more and show my face, get on camera. And uh, I'm super excited to be here. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And sorry, I know I just called you Christina. It's Christine. So That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about how to promote your events because you're putting out like one to two events every week. Yeah. And when you started, let's start, let's go back to seven years ago when you started, because yeah. now you've got a following. Now there's people who are, you know, ways to do it. But when you started, what did you do those very first couple of networking events? Yeah, that's a really great question. Actually, things look so different seven years ago. I mean, we've just, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. And so throughout the pandemic, I've had to pivot into the virtual space, which has been incredible. But back then, obviously, it was just in person. I didn't even think about, you know, starting uh, virtually. So um, at that time, seven years ago, I was working corporate and just, it just, it was, I, I didn't love it. I didn't really have very many friends with the people that I work with. So I decided to start this initiative to just meet other really amazing, inspiring women, professional women. And I just kind of came up with the name one day. And where I started was actually on, on um, meetup.com. So literally, I just one day in my little bachelor apartment, because I was single at the time, just came up with the name Toronto Professional Women's Meetup without even doing any research, nothing like that. It was just following my passion. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a really good name um, because I wanted to meet other professional women. And turns out, um, I think that was part of my success was choosing the right name for search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I hear, you know, when I ask my, the ladies, how did you find me? A lot of them, they're just, they'll type like professional women in Toronto and I'll pop up that way. So I love it. yeah, yeah, it's really great. And, um, yeah, I started on meetup.com, but then I realized I didn't own any of those email addresses. Like, yeah, I was yeah, like, meetup oh, won't gosh. give you email addresses. 
<laughs> yeah. So I was like, I better get on that. So then, and then I ventured out into Eventbrite, which you do get people's emails addresses. Mm-hmm. So I quickly got everyone's email address that way. So right. I continue to do it that way. <laughs> so with your first event, like, can you remember your first event? Like how many people came and how did they find, like, were they all from Meetup? And yeah, tell me about that. That's a good question. So what I did was I invited a bunch of my friends and I, they all knew that I was starting this. And so I said, like, please come support my very first meetup. And they came. I had about five, five friends. Nice. And we met up in a restaurant. It was like a bit of a kind of a like fancier um, restaurant, I guess. Mm-hmm. It was close by to where I was living and just down the street in St. Lawrence Market. So, oh, nice. so, you know, you got those like posh restaurants there. So I picked one there. I can't remember the name. I already forgot. But um that was seven years ago. And that's what happens when you have kids, you forget. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, my kid, uh, my friends were there and I had one, one person join from meetup.com who found my event online. And nice. she was like, this is your first one? Like, how, how did you do it? <laughs> I'm like, she didn't know they were all my friends. <laughs> that's amazing. So, yeah. yeah. I continued, I continued that way. And like my friends got busy eventually and uh, I wasn't like really counting on them showing up to every single one of my meetups, but Mm -hmm. some, it seemed that I never had one where nobody showed up. So that's the thing. It's just continue showing up was really important and it was hard work. Like, I'm not going to say like, oh, you know, this group just kind of got itself together magically like, appeared so, yeah, yeah. Which, we like to think it's gonna go that way but no <laughs> no no it was a consistent one person at a time yeah yeah that's cool okay so meet up so that's one great way to promote your event yes yes it's a really great and it's it's still to this day um it's one of my like lead generations uh mm-hmm. you know but you The key is having, is being on all the platforms. I truly believe like you need to be on all the platforms and then finding some way to get the email addresses at the end of the day. Like that's the Mm -hmm. most important thing. Cause like, what if something goes wrong with meetup.com? What if I lose my Facebook? What if, you know, um, that's the end, what's most important. And now Eventbrite is a huge way, like a lot of my, my people register on Eventbrite. It's a discovery platform where people can search for events there, just like meetup.com is very similar. People are yeah. looking for an event to go to. It's searchable. And the other key thing about um, Eventbrite, I was going to say the Facebook, the Facebook connection with Eventbrite. So don't, underestimate the power of that so anytime you post something on eventbrite make sure that you um there's the add to facebook feature there yeah Um, add it it's really easy for people so when they're when they're searching on facebook now when people are and people look on on uh, facebook as well for events Mm -hmm. going on um they just they'll see your event and now there's a pop-up inside the facebook that people can click and most people are on their mobiles when they're searching. So right. mobile friendly as well for someone just to click. Yes. I want to purchase the ticket and it brings them to Eventbrite. So they don't know. Oh, very cool. Facebook. The other great thing too, is by putting your event on Facebook. So you're taking Eventbrite, you're putting it on Facebook. Now you can event, you can invite your Facebook friends to the event. That's another huge thing, right? So don't forget that step, invite your friends because then you make, you make it more organic. You want, mm-hmm. you make it more organic by inviting your friends. And then the more eyeballs you get on your Facebook event, um, the, the more chances that it'll appear on, sometimes Facebook will say like recommended events. Like, do you yeah. ever get the pop up? Yeah. yeah. So it might like appear there um, as long as you get like traction going on it. So that's your goal. So we've got meetup, we've got Eventbrite and Facebook events. How else do you promote your events? Another thing about Facebook is really great. You can take your event and um, 
it first starts out on your page. So it shows up under events on your page, on your business page. Mm -hmm. but then you should, um, you should have a group associated with, with your page. Um, groups are really big. When so I Facebook started, group, yeah. yeah, I started my Facebook group seven years ago. And back then the algorithm for Facebook groups was crazy. Like you will quickly grow a Facebook group now, but now it's not the same. So I hear LinkedIn is the next biggest thing like to tap into like right now, hmm. um, which I'm doing, but um, yeah, it's um, you can share the event. You can share the event on Facebook in different groups. So mm -hmm. you can just hit share. And then I, I do that too. Like I'll share in different groups um, that are relevant, of course, to networking for women. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, this, don't forget to add it to your Facebook group. So it starts off in your page, but add it to your group as well. Yeah. So tell me about like, so you started your Facebook group seven years ago, which is awesome, which allows yeah. it to grow organically. And with the Facebook group, um, the name is so important as well, right? Because again, yeah. it's searchable. People are searching for groups. So yeah. 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 Have you have any recommended groups or like what kind of tips would you give for people who want to do a Facebook group related to an ongoing event that they're doing yeah just um start it invite all all of your friends and for the Facebook platform you can join other groups right and um see what other people are posting and if it's anything that kind of um like stands out to you and you're like I want to I want to be friends with that person or I want to message that person like I just I've, I'll friend somebody real quick and I know like some people don't do that but I just want to I want to grow my community and if I see there's like-minded people in other groups then mm -hmm. I will I will reach out to them <laughs> nice yeah, yeah so don't be afraid to reach out to strangers because that's yeah, how they yeah. friends yeah they'll come out and you know they'll be interested they like if they're interested they will join your group yeah. Yeah. No, that's a, uh, I do actively do my reach outs. Like that's also a big thing. Like, um, it's, it's just, yeah, I care about the people in my community. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's, and that's such a good point because even though you're posting on all these places, like, like you said, like you invited your friends to the first one, like you yeah. have to actually go out and invite people. Yeah. Right? And be continually inviting people, even when you've got 10,000 people on your meetup group, because they're not all going to show up at one event. Yeah. Right? And that's the thing. There's some, um, some, like I just had a virtual event a couple days ago and the lady said, she's like, this is my first time joining you, but I've been watching you for two years. <laughs> like that's how it is. That's why consistency is so important because People are watching you. They're watching you. They're waiting. Like they want to join in. And a lot of people like networking in general is, is scary. Mm -hmm. And they want to, but they're just like, oh, I'll go to the next one. Or I'll go to the next one. But, you know, eventually they're like, okay, fine. Like I need to go. <laughs> yeah. Today is the day. It's today true. Day. It's so yeah. true. Like we do that. We, we kind of like, this is on our radar and maybe now is not the time. And then eventually it is the time. Yeah. But it's not yeah. going to be the time if you're no longer around to help people. So. And I, and I want to, that's always my goal. My mission, like when I started was, um, and the reason why I started was because I love meeting new people all the time. And I never found a group out there that consistently had like one to two or even three events a week that I, that didn't exist. I would go to one and I had a really good time. I met some, some new people, but then they didn't have anything else. So it was like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. So we've got, <clears throat> okay, so let's see, where are we at? We're at number three or four. Yeah. We've got Meetup. We've got Eventbrite. We've got Facebook events, Facebook group. Yeah. And Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Yeah. So Instagram. I, so first of all, I use Linktree. And if you don't know what Linktree is, it's a way that amalgamates all of your different links into one link. So they can click on the Linktree link, link and it's got like your website, your freebie, your events, whatever's coming up, right? Like Linktree is amazing. And I just like last week, um, you know, you can pay for Linktree mm -hmm. and you get all the stats, right? The, the, what is it? The, um, yeah, the statistics. 
like how many people visited the different links and yeah. tells you where they're coming from too. So I, instead of posting my website link, because I don't use Google analytics, I've tried a couple of times. It's like, oh my gosh. It's so <laughs> it high. Work. Yeah. It didn't work out. So link tree, it works. And now I know where everybody's coming from. And I have all my links in there that are relevant. Like I put my in-person networking events, virtual networking events, and all everything else that I'm offering. And then, um, yeah, it tells you where the people are coming from. And I get Instagram is the biggest one where people are coming from. I'm like, wow, really interesting. That's what I'm learning. Yeah. I mean, and then second for me is Facebook, but Instagram is the biggest one. So it is very powerful. And when you say link in bio in Instagram, mm -hmm. like it works. <laughs> People go and check you out. Yeah. And then you can put the subscribe email subscribe feature when you pay for the link tree, you can put that in embedded in so you can get people's emails through link tree. Oh, LinkTree. fantastic. Yeah. So I started doing that. Um, anywhere I can get anybody to subscribe so they can get the information on when the next event is. Um, I'll put it there. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. That's good to know. So a lot of benefits of the pro link tree getting professional yeah. level link tree and Instagram. How um, far in advance do you promote your events? I mean, they're weekly, so they're recurring on the same, do they recur the same time every week? Yeah. So that's the thing. Um, so I just started a new um, membership program. Mm -hmm. So part of that is having my events booked out a month in advance always, and maybe yeah. even two months. So I'll sit down and I look at the calendar. I check like for holidays because don't plan an event on a holiday. Right. <laughs> or over a long weekend, you know, say there's yeah. a long weekend, like a day. So yeah. So I'll just, I'll spend a day basically booking and posting all the events in advance. And that, that helps. That helps. And I know from the feedback that I got from my members, they want um, different times. So they don't want, I, I was doing just 10 a.m. on Wednesdays for a really long time. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them are like, I can't join, like I'm working and I, you know, so I want to be available at, at different times. So I have one, like on different days too, I'll mix it up. So at 10 a.m., noon and 8 p.m., those are like the popular times. Right. And I'll mix it up on days of the week and weekends are not popular. Like they're just not popular. We're all busy. Like mm -hmm. I'm myself included. Like I've got my boys and they're home from school. So I just want to like enjoy my weekend. <laughs> right. Is there anything else that you want to add about how to promote your events? LinkedIn is really great too. I wanted to bring that up too. LinkedIn is amazing. You can search people by location on LinkedIn, which is huge. Because mm -hmm. I'm a Toronto group, so I can figure out um, who to invite. You can create events on, on LinkedIn as well. You can create your own page and your own group on LinkedIn. I don't know if a lot of people know this, too. Mm. And it's brand new, so get in on it now. <laughs> get in on the LinkedIn groups. Start your LinkedIn yeah. group. Yeah, especially if, you're, if your audience is professional, if that's the people yeah. you're trying to find. Exactly. Yeah, or people, who are then people are posting about non-professional things and those I've, those kind of posts in LinkedIn are getting the most traction mm. really yeah. interesting when you post about your personal life on LinkedIn that's what people are liking and commenting on yeah well I think people they appreciate authenticity yeah in any forum right people they want people to be honest and to be who they are regardless of yeah Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, that's, and then of course there's TikTok. And I think that's what TikTok is all about is like just being you. Um, and, uh, it's, I, I feel like I've been on TikTok for about a year now and it's, I'm still learning, but it's definitely, um, made me more comfortable with being doing videos because mm -hmm. a lot of us are like, still afraid of doing videos <laughs> yeah yeah that's true it's a thing it's a thing it's a thing yeah for sure yeah right. but yeah I think that's it <laughs>
Cool. Okay. So I'm just going to recap those five, the five main things. So okay. it's uh, meetup, promote yourself on meetup, promote yourself on Eventbrite, promote yourself on uh, Facebook events, yeah. have a Facebook group for your events, especially if it's recurring, right? If it's something that happens more than once yeah. um, and go in other Facebook groups and promote your event where it's allowed. And then the final one was Instagram which for some people that's going to work really well. Well, Christine, thank you so much for sharing your expertise and your wisdom or hard earned <laughs> over seven years. Uh, really a pleasure. And um, where can people find you? How can they find out more about Toronto professional women? Yeah. So my website, torontoprofessionalwomen.com and everything's there. Um, I even have like an events calendar there. You can, uh, lays it all out all my upcoming events so you can pick and choose which one you can make it out to nice and i've been to christine's event and they are a lovely group of women and i always yeah. find something of value I always have a good conversation with someone in them so i highly recommend them yeah. and if you found yeah and if you found this video uh helpful to you and you'd like to see more videos hit that subscribe button below and if you're looking for ways to promote your business and maybe social media is kind of wearing you out i also encourage you to download my free training it's a free masterclass on how to find clients without social media and i'm going to give you a sneak preview one of the things i recommend is networking so yes. there and then go check out Christine's group, Toronto Professional Networking, the online ones you don't have to be in Toronto for. You got awesome. this. Yeah. Thank you so much for the opportunity, June. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Christine.